Hi my friends, welcome back to another studio vlog. Thank you for stopping by today and for joining me in this cozy painting footage. I haven't recorded a voiceover in such a long time and of course right when I was about to record my voiceover the other day, I realized my little USB-C to USB adapter wasn't working so I have a really weird setup going on right now which makes it even more uncomfortable but I still wanted to, I don't know, just chat a little bit with you guys and uh, give a little bit of context here. I wanted to say thank you so much for the love and support of my first studio vlog. It makes me so happy that so many of you are also looking into starting your own art shops and I'm glad that my videos can somewhat be a little helpful even if it's just to keep you company and keep you motivated um, because honestly it's all a learning process for me as well and I'm learning so much along the way and I think with me just making these videos and sharing these videos it's sort of like us learning together. But yeah, I'm really happy to be doing these studio vlogs because I think it's a nice way to document what I'm learning and in turn be of any resource to you guys as well. So switching gears here, I wanted to talk a little bit about this painting. Um, honestly, I painted this quite a while back because as you guys know, I'm still trying to get caught up with my videos here on YouTube. Um, but so this painting, uh, the funny thing is while I was editing this video, um, I realized that I sort of envied my past self a little bit because honestly, it's been a while since I've had the paintbrush in my hands and editing this footage has made me realize just how much I've missed it. The funny thing is, it's not because I've been facing any sort of art block or anything because I have been creating. It's just been a lot of digital artwork on my iPad. And as much as I love working digitally, I really miss the tactile feeling of painting. You know, the way the paint flows on the paper. Uh, it's just those little things that I really enjoy about painting that I miss so much. Um, and I don't think that me working digitally a lot recently is a bad thing because at the end of the day, it's just about really going with the flow with your art and kind of just doing what is sparking joy. And a lot of that right now is just digital work for me. Um, but I do find that because it's been so long since I've painted, I think I've sort of built up this fear around painting, uh, which has been really weird to navigate. So I've been slowly easing my way into it. Um, never forcing myself to do anything, but just going with the flow. I've been trying to work in my sketchbook a little bit some days and if I don't feel like taking out the paint, I will just kind of work with colored pencils and yeah, so just sort of trying to break the ice a little bit and just ease my way back into painting again. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and I'll probably be back later on, but bye for now. So I just printed out some more samples on the sheet labels of glossy paper and I think I definitely prefer online labels glossy paper over this one. Um, but yeah, I the colors did turn out a lot differently, especially on these. So would have to play around with that if I would ever to use this paper, but I don't think I would. This is just to test out some more samples. So yeah, um, 
now I'm gonna put this in the Cricut So this one is the online labels weatherproof glossy and this one is the sheet label white gloss inkjet and I definitely prefer the online labels one it definitely just looks sorry my printer <laughs> okay I prefer the online labels one because it just looks more glossy as you can see I don't know if I'm doing a good job of showing you. So yeah, let me know which one you guys like more. And then I did a couple tests of these ones, but I do not really like them. First of all, the colors are just a bit off. And for this one, I just don't really know if I want this as a sticker. Um, and these I will probably just do bigger and fix the colors. But yeah. That's all of those. So I might do some more tests. So these ones are the online label weatherproof matte paper and I really don't like this. It feels like you printed it out on letter paper on your printer and just cut it out with scissors. Like it just doesn't really feel that good quality. Um, but yeah, at least I tried some samples today. Um, still not happy with anything but <laughs> we'll see how it goes.
hi guys i'm back um in this section of the video it was actually my first time printing art prints for my printer um, which is the epson xp 970 if you haven't seen my last video so yeah i decided to do my first test print and the paper that i'm using today is the red rivers 88 pound polar matte paper and it is one of the papers that i got from one of their sample packs and oh my goodness you guys this paper is absolutely amazing it's a really thick matte paper um, but what i really love about it is just how smooth the surface feels um, and the colors just turned out amazing and overall just very impressed with the quality of their papers so yeah, if you guys want to try this paper, I would definitely recommend you trying out one of their sample packs first. So alas, another Stita vlog has come and gone and I really liked this one because it was a good balance of art making and studio things. So I hope you enjoyed watching um, and as always, stay safe and cozy out there. Goodbye!